Hey there everyone, uh, this is Tornus and I'm gonna do a, wow, a very short video for once indeed, and this is gonna be the first impressions analysis, kind of like short review, if you will, for the game uh, Briss, Build to Destroy. So what motivated me to do uh, this video is, by the way, it's, uh, not a stream, it's a one take recording, so everything is live here no editing but yeah um i sometimes i play on stream games that uh, are you know a lot of hours needed to uh, dive into and uh, not necessarily the end result will be that interesting to watch and upload on youtube so uh for example like game balatra yeah that is recently pretty popular like imagine me uploading every single run of that game yeah that i've been doing this is just kind of weird stuff but yeah, the, um, the Briss Build to Destroy is a pretty interesting title. It's been recently released in last year, and I uh, a few days ago uh, streamed it um, and uh, very much enjoyed it. Um, so it's a, effectively, it's promoted as, you know, Build to Destroy, as you can see in the title. And, um, well, yeah, it is, uh, but um, don't expect uh, to be... Uh, here immediately like just destroying like massive amount of textures in fact it's more like a puzzle game at the end of the day yeah and this game does a very well job at that and uh it's like you're fulfilling your child fantasies or kids uh, teenage years when you know you want to break stuff and uh smash things destroy things you know build constructors and uh, lego and then just, just destroy it and make it everything peace fall down so it's like a it's a very well made uh, simulation kind of debris destruction type of game indeed so um i'm gonna show you a few things here and uh the gameplay and uh basically yeah gotta be a short video so uh, uh there's a few modes endless mode is uh, well it is endless mode is obviously better to play once you understand the the game and play the campaign the sandbox is also pretty cool you can spoil yourself uh, which uh did uh, um constructor pieces you are uh, actually have an entire game because at the start of the campaign you only get few pieces unlocked and you need to play through the uh, the stages and um, unlock more pieces and more gameplay it, g it gets better and better and better as you progress through the campaign uh, indeed it's actually this game is actually reminds me of one of those you know like uh, old school browser games you know where you have to destroy like things like castles and yeah i'm pretty sure you can make a comparison to the like the angry birds to a degree to like the mobile games where you have to you know um accumulate as much destruction damage you can so that you get better score but yeah the sand if you immediately go to the sandbox yeah you will get spoiled of the a lot of features um uh in in the regards of uh building uh which we're actually gonna load quickly here so just for the demonstration purposes yeah i'm not gonna be building here but yeah so the pillars are obviously basic it's like a beams vertical horizontal then uh the cube it's uh the cube is just a cube it does a heavy damage uh it's like a really heavy uh connectors it's a base thing that uh it's like a super glue effectively to everything you're building yeah there's the hinges, vertical, horizontal. The, the, once you unlock uh, hinges, yeah, uh, and again, uh, hopefully you understand the constructor engineering physics. And uh, this game does a great job at 3D uh, simulations in that regard. But yeah, uh, the, only the basic knowledge requires of like engineering. So yeah, so and there's tutorials in the game too when you go to the stages. Yeah, so this hinges and there's a crawler. It's uh, effectively like uh, gonna be the I assume something that moves there and uh, with the uh, the <clears throat> the uh, this the wheels yeah rotators exist in the game counterclockwise so uh, and uh, the clockwise so then there's a cannon I haven't played with this yet apparently there's a cannon shotgun thrusters is what you expect yeah, activating a thruster is a, um uh, like a rocket boost yeah and of the bombs that you attach and they're also very important uh, gameplay mechanic so now that you see these things and you might be thinking oh is it a zelda tears of the kingdom well actually it kind of is <laughs> this game is all about this uh, um 
this creative mind. So it's not like a, you know, I'm usually playing turn-based strategies and uh, using my brain to calculate things here. This is this is the game that is the opposite part of your brain is uh, taking advantage of your other part of their half of the brain. So you need to vil visualize um, things that you need to tr construct and you know what the, the effect is going to be how it's actually like for example there's a map in the campaign there you have to build a trebuchet from the scratch with using the in-game physics with these items like <laughs> well you got you gotta kind of like understand how things works to build it right luckily uh, the game does offer tutorials or hints about some basic uh, tools of uh, operation yeah so it's not you're going to be probably stuck here and again, the game starts with the pretty uh, simple stuff like, um, well, I can show it actually. Here, is, uh, so the entire campaign got the, these, um, there's like, actually, let me show you how many there's the first world, second world, third, uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, and I believe there's seven or eight. Yeah, the seven uh, worlds here with the stages. Uh, you, I think I can actually uh, skip uh, some of these things and um, unlock. As you play the game, you unlock the, uh, you get the unlock points. So it's kind of like old school puzzle games, where uh, if you're stuck at a specific place, yeah, and you don't feel like completing it, you can just uh, skip level and uh, unlock right um, the rest of the th stuff. All right, now let me show you. Well, I mean, probably not the. Uh, yeah, these are really basic stuff here. For example, yeah, the maze, yeah, it's slightly more advanced. This is, I think, where you get the rotator, yeah, unlocked. Um, so your goal, by the way, so let me explain how this game works. You got these stages, and your goal is to destroy uh, the core of, uh, well, the shapes and this uh, red stuff. So it uh, also it produces explosion normally. And uh, you have to do it within one move, one construction. So you have to build something that will uh, destroy all the things here. So you might think, wow, what the heck? How is this possible? Well, the name of the stage also tells you uh, the kind of like a clue here. Uh, so yeah, with the rotator, we can uh, do some, uh, some interesting things. No, it's a cube. That's the cube. That's the cube. Oh, wait. I remember how this is done, yeah. Since you cannot obviously put it inside of textures, you gotta construct it like this. You can rotate some of the shapes, obviously. And uh, uh, I don't have another connector for the cube. Do I even need it? It might fall off though, otherwise. Yeah, it will fall off anyway. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. We activate uh, the button to rotate and they should fall. This one didn't fall. So yeah, it's... Uh, unfortunate <laughs> but yeah this is what happens it simulates yeah and then well um, we didn't do yeah we didn't do it but it's okay we can fix it oh trust me you're gonna be uh, try uh, trialing erroring especially if you're playing by yourself without spoiling and like uh, like not on stream or anything <laughs> uh, yeah, the, it's okay. You will be making a lot of trial. In fact, some stages actually force you to sim like the. There's going to be a, uh, well. I will show you a couple levels of where it matters. Yeah, you can with a little bit of different angle of uh, things or activating thrusters or rotations or activating the bombs at the right timing, you can alter the, the simulation already, and the result is going to be different. And I'll show you also why this is important. And you need to care about that too. So one moment, I'll uh, I will uh, do the first connector. 
where I'm supposed to, by the way, the, uh, attach the cube? Like the, uh, is, this is gonna fall, right? Actually, I'm, let me check it. If I... I cannot do it, yeah. I, maybe I don't need to... Maybe this is connector itself? Like, I never tried it before like that, but... Might as well learn something. So maybe it will not fall because it's a connector to too. Because, yeah, the game gives me the... This heavy cube. So let's see if it falls. Ah, I think we're good. Then, yeah, now it's gonna bang. Bam, look at that. Everything will fall down. So, by the way, now that I'll show you the victory screen, and you will see a very important stat. Um, all the clear. Complete. All the, these cores exploded. So now we go to the, the scoring system, and how much I destroyed. And I destroyed 100%. Here comes the important part. Each level got this expert threshold. So the moment uh, you get enough points of percent for that threshold, you will automatically get 100%. So in this case, I think it's 95. So you need 96. If there's a little bit pieces left, so it will be automatically completed as 100%, and you get the plus skip uh, unlock move and all that stuff, yeah? Um, so this is this is where the things gets a bit interesting uh, because right now, the, the especially early levels, it's pretty simple. Like you're automatically gonna get 100 points. But let me show you uh, another level, like rocket. Yeah, like this uh, simple one. This, this introduction of thrusters here. So, um, well, we need to destroy these things. Yeah, and uh, let's try. Let's do the rocket, I guess. Simple a rocket. Pew! Like this. Wait, no way I did it 100% in the first try. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be. Could be. Uh... So the, with thrusters, yeah, unlocked, you're gonna. We're gonna have uh, quite a bit of... Wait, they actually did 100? No, there's some some pieces left, right? Oh, there we go. Look at this. I did... Oh, look at that. Perfect. 92% was actually destroyed. Not everything, but I did an uh, expert threshold. And it can uh, it counted for uh, the 100% the completion. So, fantastic. Um, so, uh, this is the map that I did the last on the stream, and it took me a lot of tries to uh, beat it 100% um, uh, <laughs> because this is what we get. We got two bombs, one thruster, eight connectors, and a little bit of beams. So, but looking at some, by the way, sometimes there's like really creative solutions where you might not even expect, like normally to do. So we have two towers and this thing. So we probably need to create like some kind of shape that will launch forward and bomb into that and then uh, we also need to detonate with bombs these two so uh let's see eight connectors that's a lot um that's a lot of connectors Wait, I need to. Uh, <clears throat> I need to create uh, wings too. Yeah. I don't actually remember how I did it already, like, in my stream, but <laughs> that's the beauty. I don't think think this is even going to fly. It's connected, so it's going to stay in place. It's not going to work. It's, uh, that has to be disconnected from these connectors, so it's, it's going to... Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to work like that. Mm. 
that is, yeah, you see it's it's uh, holding, it's all holding for its life here. Whoops. Reverted too much. Make it fly, yeah. Detach the bombs. Still have a lot of connectors. I'm not sure what the. There's supposed to be also one more. This thing, vertical. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, you see, uh, this is becomes a bit interesting uh, <laughs> once you reach second world because you know every time you simulate so basically this you can turn off and on, on and off and you can make like circles and uh, other things i think the it just falls okay there we go it flies and now boom boom and i didn't click the other bomb we you can disable it at the right timing too, so that it's because it's important. And now it goes down. <laughs> and every time, there's just gonna be a lot of funny things and fails, yeah. And uh, if you want the 100%, you're gonna work for it. Why right, did that? There we go. Bam. Opa, there we go. That's that's kind of what you need to do. But let, let's see the results. Let's see the results. Let's see the results. You see some of the stuff is still there. And the reason I was try harding the stage... Okay, it actually fell off. It, oh, it, okay. Well, let's see how much I completed the damage. All right. And again, you don't need to use every single piece uh, uh, that is, the game gives you. Yeah. If you can find a solution with less pieces, great. Let's see how much uh, percent I damaged. Because this stage got that. I did exactly 95%. Well, the reason I was uh, showing this specific stage is because I wanted to actually fail to get that uh, percent and uh, then I will not get 100. And then you have to like experiment with thrust differences, maybe make a different shape of the aircraft kind of thing, you know, the, your european shape thing if you will like you can experience length you can put the extra weights with this extra pieces of connector yes yeah? so you the physics are real in this game and it's pretty impressive all right um some there's also extra stages that are not connected to the main progress you need to unlock them yeah and extra stages are gonna put you into some definitely thinking state because they're not standards stages uh, so far what i'm what i've seen you have to think outside of the box a little bit <laughs> how to complete them so good luck on that and honestly like uh, if you start this game and if you can beat this stage one six wall if you can beat this stage on expert i think you're ready to enjoy fully this game like because this is the stage where the game will tilt you uh, for 100% ex expert uh, thing because so what's the problem here there's this laser thing and you have to shoot act so this thing activates laser it shoots this uh, wall here right and there's another wall behind it so what do you need to do you need to first detonate this wall with bombs and then let the laser hit this thing or maybe not but um here, here's how we can do it. We can use a bomb to activate it on the command and bam, beam. Or we can create a f uh, something that falls on it, like, and then it activates too. But here's the problem. If we do the pillar strat, like I just said, like this thing, and it falls down, then uh, you will not have enough pieces to um, sufficiently build towards there and use those two bombs, unfortunately. 
So instead, we're going to do this strategy. And I'm going to show you quickly like what happens when you quote unquote. You can just speed run this game and do the without this expert stuff and just be fine. Yeah, but uh, that's a kind of like <coughs> different different playthrough that becomes, I guess. So um, let's see here. Let's see here. You can connect or not connect, let it fall so it moves and then, then some bombs or position is going to be different then. So normally here you expect something like this. Um, so you want to detonate that with bomb, yeah, and closer to center. So you activate, uh, then you detonate this bomb, it explodes the wall. And unfortunately it didn't really do much here. And also it, uh, uh, yeah, that was bad because the, blo uh, the shot is blocked here. In fact, let me try a different thing where we're going to try to actually not connect it. Just let it fall. That might be fun, Con uh, though, to connect the bomb. Let's see if it falls. All right. It did. And... <laughs> did the laser shot hit the textures while they were falling off so this wall didn't break? <laughs> yeah. There we go, you see? Different result again. Oh wow, I actually, wow, that's a lot of pieces that this this thing didn't. Okay, so this thing is fine, you see, it's still fine. And now activate this bomb, and bam, and now it shoots, and now we complete the stage. But, here's what is a problem. You see these pieces here on the side? Oh yeah, good luck. Because if you don't break all the side pieces, you will never get expert completion here. Oh, and they're, since they're connected to the big texture that is unbreakable, these uh, pieces there, yeah, are like, no matter where you put bomb closer to the center or not, like, if you put it here, this stuff doesn't break, so it is, it is going to be a pain. And if you think you can have two bombs here with enough distance here, this is also going to be challenging. I found a way to deal with this problem, and I wonder if you can also figure it out. Uh, also, yeah, for those who are wondering, you cannot build long enough, so you cannot use this gun first and then build somewhere there that it uh, explodes this part. Again, we need to break, like, everything on the side. So this is a part of the game where I think uh, you realize that you need to be creative to try to do 100. Again, you can just do minimum, but... Oh, wait, what? Wait, the game re... Ah, but I did one hundred percent already. It re, it it reach it changed my previous record, even if it was one hundred already. Oh my god! Well, that's weird actually. But um, <clears throat> all right, let's do the mission that I haven't done. It's a new one. Let's see what is this circle. Ah, so I've got here hin a lot of hinges, two thrusters, so we need to make something circular. Hmm, and there's a space here too. How the heck am I supposed to use thrusters? Uh, I guess to constantly rotate something, like a kind of like a maze chain thing. A vertical hinge and then okay let's do that. why there's this piece I guess uh, something like Ah, 
Ah, oh, wait a second. I understand now. We need to move it so it doesn't block us here. Okay, we can put thruster. Here. Does it work? I don't know. <laughs> Gonna find out. Put a thruster here. <laughs> oh, it's blocking itself here. <laughs> I don't know if this is the intended way to do this, but <laughs> it works. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we did 100. Oh, there's some pieces left, actually. Well, it should be enough. I, I mean... <laughs> I, oh, there we go. It actually did damage to it, too. Is it stuck? Oh, I broke the my thruster number two. <laughs> All right, let's see how much I completed. Nice, unlock points plus one. Do you see? Expert. <laughs> so just like that, a new level. Yeah, the game is really fun, and um, I don't know. I might even stream the rest of it. It's definitely have a lot of content. Price tag is uh, 20 uh, currency without sale, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on sale eventually since, you know, it's been since last year, September. And uh, since I didn't really show you, like, endgame and uh, the, all these, like, lasers and crawlers and stuff like that, if you want to see how the game is going to be uh, in, uh, like, later stages, we can check out this trailer here on the official Steam page. Impulse, oh my god, Im impulsors. <laughs> you can launch things. These are magnets. I'm pretty sure this is the kind of game that is pretty nice for the YouTubers like PewDiePie, Jeff Se Je Jack Septicai, and you know these people who like to be in the simulation physics type of experiences, and then well edit those videos and show some funny stuff and cut the the boring stuff. But yeah, there we go. That's uh, kind of like my first impression of the Abyss after playing for several hours. Uh, tell me if you uh, in the comments if you want me to actually stream slash play it maybe on YouTube more. Uh, yeah, though there will be probably moments in this game where you will feel like you're the dumbest person in the world and you cannot figure out some simple mechanism and things that should be working, but they are not. That's the fun part of the game too. And and uh, again, don't be discouraged. There's uh, some hints in the game, and uh, in some levels, there's literally like, if you look at the background, uh, there's uh, the developers put some 
some things that should give you an idea of what you, you need to be doing there with those uh, limited pieces. All right. 13 hours, not bad, not bad. Could have done it less, honestly, <laughs> if I was not talking about... Well, uh, or not showing you some levels and trying to beat them on expert. And yeah, like, it's okay, it's okay. It's one, one take, uh, these recordings, it's cozy, you know. Nothing is fake or staged, these, so everything that I wanted to relay through it. And uh, yeah, I showed you these modes too. Yep, that's the game. Enjoy. Embrace.